Hey everybody, and welcome to Unwind Design Creative Studio. I am so excited to be painting with you guys today. Today we're gonna to be using an eight by 10 canvas and I have it vertically. We have a napkin with us. We also have our cup of water and our four brushes. Remember, we do want you guys to be sensitive and gentle with your brushes. You wanna take care of them and make sure you're not pressing too hard when you're painting. We don't want them to separate. We want them to stay intact to keep giving us beautiful masterpieces. The names of my brushes, starting with the big one, is a background brush. Next, I have a square brush. Then I have a round tip brush. And then finally, I have a detail brush. Next, the colors that I have are my primary colors starting off with my red, blue, black, white, and yellow. Okay, so we're gonna get started now. We're gonna begin first by using our detail brush, okay, which is the smallest one that we have. Next, we're gonna get a little bit of water and we're gonna get a little bit of yellow. And let's push this yellow to the side. Nice and slow. Remember to be gentle with your brush. I'm gonna add a couple of drops of water to the side of my yellow, and I'm gonna get those nice and mixed. From here, I'm gonna get a little scoop of white, and I'm gonna put it in the corner of my yellow. And I don't like to mix my colors in the middle. I like to mix them on the side, just in case I wanna use more yellow later. I'm not using all of it. So remember, blend your colors on the side, not in the middle of the yellow. Next to this yellow that we're making on this corner, I'm gonna get a scoop of blue. Okay, and it's gonna turn into a light green because we added the white, our yellow got really light. And then when we added the blue, it turned into green, but it's a very light green. So let's get started. We're gonna get our brush and we're gonna make a nice big oval. Next, right here, we're gonna go right down to the middle and we're gonna make a line going out to the side like that. Next, we're gonna bring this line a little bit more down, and then we're gonna do a little line for this side. And there we go. From here, we're gonna go ahead and close this in. And we're gonna put our brush back into our water. I am then gonna pick up my square brush and I'm gonna squeeze off a little bit of this water. We don't want too much. Or you can tap it on your paper. And we're gonna come back and pick up this green. And let's start to paint in our little dinosaur. We're painting a little T-Rex. And you wanna go nice and slow, painting with both sides of your brush. We're gonna get our green brush and we're gonna get a little bit more of this blue. I'm gonna dry it. I don't want too much water on here. I'm gonna get a little bit more of this blue and I'm gonna mix it slowly into the other corner of my yellow. I wanna make sure I had a lot more blue though. now though. 
if you notice, now my green is getting really dark. And that's what I want. I want a nice dark green. There you go. And this dark green is gonna start to be the little spikes on top of my little T-Rex. So I'm making a little line and a bump. And you decide, do you wanna make it spikier or do you wanna make it rounder? So we're gonna make one line, skip a spot. Here's another little spike on top. Here's more of that dark green. And my spikes are getting smaller and smaller the more I'm moving down. Here's another one. And again, I'm gonna be making them smaller the more I get lower. And there we go. We have our little spikes. Next, I'm gonna wash that brush off and I'm gonna make some pink. How do I make pink? I'm gonna get a scoop of white, put it on the other side so that I don't mix it all together in my white. And I'm gonna get a scoop of red. And when I mix my red and white together, it turns into pink. Make sure that you washed off all of the green off your brush before you made pink. Next, we're gonna do a little circle on top for the cheek. Make sure you leave a lot of space at the bottom. And we're gonna do a little circle of that pink for that cheek. Next to this pink, we're gonna add a little bit of yellow and it's gonna start to turn peach. So pink, red and white, add a little bit of yellow, and then add a little bit of white. And that's gonna give us a really nice peach color. Look at that light. Let's add a little bit of white to that. Perfect. So to this, we're gonna add a little triangle of color on the side. There's one side. And over here behind the little spike, is a little bit more. They're like, teacher, what are we doing? You're gonna see right now. Don't worry, you're gonna love it. We're making a little T-Rex sitting in a cup of tea. How cute, right? I love it. Let's play with this color more. Let's add more red to it. And look at how pretty it starts to look. It starts to look kind of bubble gum pink, right? So with this bubble gum pink, we're going to start to draw the teacup around our T-Rex. There's the line right there. And then on top, you can do another little line. Once you go around the T-Rex, bring your brush down. And let's start making a little cup of tea. And you can start to paint in that little cup. See, and let's start painting that in. Nice and slow, side to side. We're starting to paint in all of that in with a little bit of that color that we made. Remember, we made pink first for the cheek. Then we added yellow and white and it made that color. And then we added more red and it made this color. From here, you can also add the little teacup handle. You want it to be a little lighter. Let's get a little bit of this white and let's add a little bit of white on that side just to make it look like there's a shimmer. Look at how pretty that looks. 
Okay, and I'm gonna try to add a little bit on the handle too. Why not? There you go. What about up here? Perfect. That looks good, guys. Not too bad. I have a question. I wonder what would happen if we get a little blue and mix it with our pink. It starts to give us a purple. Look at how pretty that looks. So with that purple, I'm gonna add a little line underneath and add some shadows going side to side. Look at how pretty that looks. I love how it's looking. So look at how I'm going from one color to the next color to the next color. From here, I do want to use my detail brush and I want to make a little square on the side. This is going to be our tea bag that's coming out of our cup. So this is going to be the little paper. Okay, I'm doing a little square. And then on top, I'm doing a little triangle. In the middle of this, even if I still have white, I'm going to scoop up some red. And it's going to draw out a little heart. Next, we're finally going to start using our block. So I'm going to use my little detail brush. And I'm going to come in and pick up my block. We're going to start first by outlining the big eye. So let's get some of that black and let's outline that big eye. We're going to do a little nose, just a little oval. And then we're going to do the zigzag mouth. Look at that, it's sharp little teeth. We're going to go and outline the face. Again, here we are. We're also going to outline the body a little bit. We're gonna go down and make a little neck and then outline the chubby body. From here, you can do the little arms. And you can outline the little spikes. We're also going to start to outline the little cup. So for the cup, we're going to make the outline in the front first. And my line goes a little bit into that section over here. And then I'm going to draw the inside of the cup. Inside. And then finally, draw the outside. So this is the outside. This is the outside. From here, we're going to outline the little tea bag. And we're going to make a little string. 
going into the tea. Next, in the middle, we're going to write T. So here's a big letter T. Here's a little letter E. Here's the letter A. And then next to it, we're doing the R. The E. And the X. Final thing that we would need here would be our little highlight. And if you wanna add any highlights on anything else, like right here, maybe on the side. You want to add little hearts. If you want to add anything else on the side, this would be the time for you to do it. I'm going to do a bunch of little hearts. And you can do that with any color that you want. I'm going to come in with some blue. Can add a little bit of red and blue combined and put in a couple of purples. We can make some red and yellow and get some orange or even get blue and yellow and make some green and just play with it. Look at how cute these little hearts look around. A little bit of that blue and yellow to tie it all in together. All right, guys, and there you go. Your cute little T-Rex. Please don't forget to write your name down at the bottom. We want to make sure everybody knows that this is your beautiful masterpiece. All right. And there you go, T-Rex. Ready to go. Thank you guys so much for painting with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did, and I hope you guys have an awesome day. See you soon. Bye.